Here I'm starting off the flat panel that's going to be the base for the die for the diffuser. First step is to do some resin with filler and it does look a little bit like laying out chocolate. Um, this is to make it a little bit easier to sand. Um, could have used a gel coat to start with. Um, what I've found is I probably should have taped down the whole way across because um, it's left some bad bubbles in the gel coat once I've finally got the, the dye done. Now I'm making up some more reason to go on top of the, the layers of fiberglass, laying down a first sheet, chop strand mat, um, and wetting it out with some more resin. This is a 450 gram chop strand mat. Uh, should provide a good amount of strength and a good amount of stiffness. Just rolling out any bubbles, getting the gel, uh, getting the resin nicely filled in to any voids. Making some more resin up and wetting out again. Now I put down some rope. This will give some structure, um, some shaping for fiberglass to go on top to add some stiffness to the flat panel. Lay the strips of fiberglass on, then wet it out. Try and push it down into uh, the shape of the rope. This curving of the fiberglass will add, add the stiffness and strength. This means you don't have to apply as many layers of fiberglass to get the same sort of level of stiffness and strength. Now I go around with the rolling wheel, um, just to get the nice tight curves. It is pissing down. See if this buggy comes off.
Looking good so far. Easy as that. And she's reasonably stiff. Still needs a PVA to be washed off it. I might just trim the edges off now. <coughs> so I'll trim the edges and wash the PVA off, um, clean up the table, and then I'll just buff the buff the surface. Cool. Safety first when doing any cutting, making sure that you've got plenty of eye protection. Um, I get the grinder with the cutting wheel initially um, to, to just trim off the edges. Try the jigsaw at some point and then go around with the um, flapper wheel just to smoothen it down so it gets a nice clean edge. Took the panel outside to wash it down, take the PVA off the parting film um, and then start sanding and keep sanding and sand some more.
and now to apply some body filler to fill up some of the little gaps and voids and any depressions valleys Then next day, just come back and even more sanding.